Hello Penn State fans, I'm Ryan Snyder from Blue White Illustrated and On3. Today I'm with Penn State's newest commitment, Chimney Onu, 6'5", 270 offensive tackle from Dundalk, Maryland. Uh, Chimney originally committed to Old Dominion, uh, went to Rutgers, Penn State, Ole Miss, and Michigan State for his four official visits, uh, decided to pick the Nittany Lions on National Signing Day. Chimney, I'll throw it to you. What separated Penn State? What were those one or two things that uh, you know separated them over? I think Michigan State Rutgers were kind of the schools pushing the most, but I, I don't know. What was your order? So Penn State, I would say, just going there on the visit, I really felt like home. I felt like I really connected with um, the coaches and the athletes, and they they talked a lot about how we will be connecting and really just said a lot about how they'll be developing me and I got, um, formed a good connection with the uh, O-line coach as well as Coach Franklin. So kind of like build some good relationships during the visits. Anything that was different, uh, the way Penn State recruited you, anything different about Trotwine or, or, or Franklin? I think you told me before, like Franklin was probably maybe the most aggressive yeah. head coach. I mean, that's something I think stood out. But anything else you can say about just maybe their personalities or what was unique about the way they handled your recruitment? Um, just there were... Um, really welcoming, just um, going on the campus. They were really welcoming, really um, hospitable. Um, it just showed us a lot of love on the campus um, just during this whole recruiting process. So the extent of that is just really what makes them um, separate from the other schools. Did you know a lot about Penn State before they offered you? Uh, just curious on if you watched them much growing up. Like what, what, does, what was Penn State to you growing up? Yeah, I did watch a lot of Penn State. Um, I watched a lot of college football, so I watched Penn State a lot just like trying at home, stuff like that. So um, I knew a lot about the school. It was, it was really crazy just getting this opportunity because it's, um, some, it's a school I've, I've been watching for a while. So hey, it was crazy getting this opportunity. You're now the fourth offensive lineman to join Penn State's class. Have you gotten to know any of those guys, Javen or Alex Birchmeyer, Anthony Donko, four four stars. It's actually one of their mm -hmm. best offensive line classes ever. Have you gotten to know those guys? Yeah, so they were at the visit. And they they greeted me as well my first day. Um, we had a visit on um, the second day, so I got to be around them a little bit. Um, they've been um, some of them been reaching out to me on Instagram, all that stuff, um, and encouraging me and stuff like that. So we're kind of building that relationship. Okay. Couple fun questions. Get to know you. This was a fast recruitment. Uh, this was it felt like I don't know six seven weeks uh, since Penn State offered. So I I don't know you would think as well as I know some of the other guys in this class. We'll start. I want to start with your track career a little bit. Uh, Sixty-one shot put, one seventy-five discus. Did you say you won a state championship for one of them? I think? Uh, for both, actually. Both. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a? Do you rank nationally or something like that too? I remember you shared some stats with me. Yeah. So I was. I'm ranked number twelve in the nation for shot put, and I'm not ranked for discus. I mean, number twelve in the nation for shot yeah. put is pretty good. Uh, so you want to? You're going to do that again this year? Uh, I assume. Keep going. That going. What's uh, what got you into track? Was it for football? Was it just because you love the sport? Like, what was what was the reason you got into that? So it was just something I was interested in. Um, I wanted to stay active, so I saw um, after basketball season there was a track and field, so I was interested in doing that. Um, the track coach has also seen me, recruited me out of my middle school, and he kind of saw potential in me, so I started doing it. I liked it a lot, and it's, um, my coach saw a lot of potential in me, so I just continued doing it, and I got to where I am today. Is there is there a benefit from for football perspective? I assume – lower body strength or something mm -hmm. like that like what do you get out of that to help you with football so a lot of explosiveness we work on, on that we emphasize that a lot doing that um, a lot of footwork and technicalities go into that as well so I think it can really help translate into football as, as well okay speaking of training fans always want to know what's your bench what's your squat what's your power clean I don't know if you've been doing a whole lot of that lately I know you're you're playing basketball right now yeah. but anything you can share on just kind of those numbers well, um, I haven't been lifting a lot because during yeah, all the, the basketball and stuff. So, um, What's your max bench ever? Yeah, max bench is 300 pounds. Okay. Yeah. Do you know squat or power clean? My uh, squat is 455, and I don't have a power clean. Okay. I have a hang. My hang clean is 235. Okay. I yeah. want to go back to your Penn State official visit quick. We're going to wrap this up soon. What was the most fun thing about that visit? Whether uh, it's with the coaches or maybe hanging out with the players, but like if there was one moment, one thing that you really will take away from that, uh, what was that one thing you just maybe never forget? Um, I will never forget. It was, first off, it was a really good photo shoot. I was really comfortable and getting hyped up by the, by the coaches and everything. I think one of like the, the really fun things was just being around the coaches because they were really passionate about getting me to the school. So 
it was very welcoming. Like all of them were there. They were all helping me, encouraging me, just making sure I was doing good. So I just that was like the highlight, just getting there. Mm -hmm. um, their greeting. There was a whole line of the coaches all clapping for me. My family were walking in. So that was just the highlight of the visit. Okay. Two last things then for you. Uh, you told me you want to major in, I think, mechanical engineering or business. Yeah. So if you don't make it to the NFL someday, mm -hmm. what's your dream job, man? What's what's What would you like to pursue? Uh, if you go to one of those fields or anything else, I don't know if there's something in sports or whatever it may be. So, yeah, um, the plan would be to use my um, degree in either one of them. Um, I would want to like, pursue business and like think about or, like starting different businesses and investments and stuff like that. You into engineering now? Yeah. Like what? What, what with mechanical? Is there anything in particular? Or you just gotta like some figure like that out? yeah, like design, manufacturing, just like having a knowledge to know how to, to like build things from scratch and really you understand. Find that fun. Yeah, I find that fun and interesting. So wherever that can take me is where I would want to pursue. Okay. Last thing, I get. To, I want to give you the floor here. There's thousands of Penn State fans watching you for the first time. They've read your interviews, mm -hmm. but this is your first time as a commit. If you can say anything to those fans, either maybe their, your appreciation for their support, how excited you are, whatever it may be, I want to give you an opportunity to say something to them. Anything you want to say? Yeah, um, first off, thank you for all the support, all the love, um, just for just for like showing all the love and everything. I just want to say that um, Penn State would be getting a great athlete. I, I strive to be the best whatever and – be the best in whatever I do. So just know um, a lot is coming for me for the next couple of years at Penn State, and it's going to be it's going to be a lot of good stuff. You heard it from him first, guys. Chimney Onu, Penn State's newest offensive tackle, the last commitment in the 2023 class as well. 23 commitments overall, four four-star offensive linemen. Of course, Javon Williams was a five-star in some places too. So uh, Penn State's getting a heck of an offensive line class. That's it for me. We'll catch you guys next time.